Hello everyone. This video is about the classification of disaccharides and their identification. So disaccharide means carbohydrates which are formed by joining two monosaccharide units or carbohydrates which on hydrolysis form two monosaccharides are called as the disaccharides. These disaccharides they are classified into two types reducing and non-reducing disaccharides and the basis for the classification of these disaccharides is it is based on availability of the functional groups. So functional group means aldehyde or ketone group. Now coming to reducing disaccharides. So disaccharides which contain a free aldehyde or keto group are called as the reducing disaccharide or simply disaccharides which contain a free functional group are called as the reducing disaccharide. And here you can see the structure of maltose. Maltose is made up of two glucose units and these two glucose units are joined by 1 to 4 glycosidic linkage. So that means the first carbon of glucose on the left side it forms a bond with the fourth carbon of the second glucose. So here maltose has two glucose units means it has two functional groups one present on the first glucose and the other one present on the second glucose. So out of these two functional groups or aldehyde groups one group is involved in the formation of a glycosidic bond. So that is the first carbon of the glucose on the left side it has the aldehyde group it forms a bond with the fourth carbon of the second glucose unit. So here the first carbon of the second glucose unit is free it is not involved in any glycosidic bond. So you can say that there is one free functional group in the disaccharide. So such disaccharides are called as reducing disaccharides. And other most common example for the reducing disaccharide is lactose. Coming to non-reducing disaccharides. So disaccharides which do not contain any free functional group means they do not have any free aldehyde or keto group. So such disaccharides are called as non-reducing. So here example is sucrose. You can see the structure of sucrose here and its composition is it has glucose and fructose. So when you see the left side monosaccharide it is glucose and the right side monosaccharide is fructose and these two are joined to form the sucrose. So whenever these are joined the bond is formed between first carbon of glucose and the second carbon of the fructose. So here the first carbon of glucose has the functional group aldehyde and coming to the fructose the fructose has functional group on its second carbon. So during the formation of a glycosidic bond here both the functional groups functional group of the glucose and the functional group of fructose both are involved in the glycosidic bond formation. So that's why after the bond formation sucrose does not contain any free functional group that's why it is called as the non-reducing sugar so any such sugar which has no free functional group in it is called as the non-reducing sugar now coming to a simple test used to find out whether the given sample is a reducing or non-reducing sugar so one of the most common test used is called as the benedict test so it involves a simple procedure where you have to take 5 ml of the Benedict reagent and add 8 drops of the given sample. After that you have to boil the contents for 2 minutes. So when you boil the contents after 2 minutes based on the developed color we can say whether the given sample is a reducing sugar or non-reducing sugar. After 2 minutes if brick red precipitate is seen it indicates the presence of reducing sugar. Not only brick red color other colors like green, yellow, orange are also seen when you perform this Benedict test. So these different colors appearance depends upon the concentration of the sugar in the given sample. So as it indicates approximate amount of sugar in the given sample this is known as the semi quantitative test. So after 2 minutes if color is not changed so actual color of the solution will be blue if it is not changed then it indicates the presence of non-reducing sugar. The summary of this reaction is if color is changed to 
green, yellow, orange, red, any of these colors, it indicates the presence of reducing sugar. If color is not changed, that if it remains blue after 2 minutes of boiling, then it is called as the non-reducing sugar.